Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to Unturned 3.14.2. The updates that we have been getting recently on Unturned have been absolutely freaking amazing. First, it started with arena mode and two maps to go alongside it. Then there was another addition of PI Arena to that arena mode. And then we got planes and helicopters. And now we've got boats. We got freaking boats now! Like, oh my god! Nelson really needs to calm down before we start giving people heart attacks. Because when you add this much awesomeness in such little time, our little hearts, they just can't handle it, man. But nonetheless, this week's update is awesome. As you can see over here on the left, we have the jet ski that covers IDs 98 through 105. All of these nice little colors here. We've got an awesome runabout boat, just a nice simple four-seater motorboat. And then we have this, the Otter. It is the Sandpiper, except instead of wheels, it's got those little guys there. And it lands on water. It's like those seaplanes or whatever. They have a specific name for them, but nonetheless, freaking awesome. And I cannot wait to show you guys everything in this week's update. Setting the vehicles aside and looking at some of the smaller things, now the map UI is a lot bigger. You can see a lot more details. You can zoom in, you can drag around like so, and the map is just bigger um, in terms of like it, the space that it takes up on the UI. I like that change. Now whenever you spawn a vehicle using the vehicle command, it will spawn with full fuel, full health, ready to go. The health of aircraft and helicopters have been tweaked a little bit higher because they were super easy to shoot down. The wall and arena game modes moves a little bit slower now. and also also, you earn less experience in arena mode now, but you do spawn with more stamina, so you don't need to worry about running only 5 feet anymore. Campfires can be destroyed by bullets and melee now. Awesome. And lastly, you can change the key binding of pitch, roll, and all that stuff uh, for airplanes. So now you aren't only limited to using your mouse when you're trying to fly an airplane. You can set it up like Grand Theft Auto to where to roll left, you press the numpad number 4, and roll right, numpad number 6, pitch up, I think, 8, and pitch down, 5. Uh, and then that way you can control your airplane by just using your keyboard, and then you can also fly in third person because of that. Uh, I'll show you more specifically uh, when we get into that otter. But that is pretty much everything uh, in terms of improvements and tweaks and fixes uh, that were added aside from these awesome new boats so let's get into the boats themselves first up let's check out the otter see how the water physics the buoyancy stuff uh, works out uh, it honestly you know there isn't much about them I mean okay it, they behave exactly like you would expect them to uh, it's a boat you drive around on the water they're super cool uh, their spawn points will be shown on the screen right now on both Washington right here on the left and PEI over there on the right uh, he says that you can now explore the waters with nautical vehicles PI and Washington have spawn points for several of each new transport so all you need to do is hunt them down and launch without sinking so I that, that makes me kind of think is it difficult to launch the boat uh, without sinking so I'm gonna see what happens if I were to hit the water and I'm really hoping it doesn't explode and just you know it just beaches the boat but hey we're gonna see we're gonna see please don't explode all right there you go so once you land on the water it uh, it just stops and you can't do anything at that point you'd probably need a pal to go like drive a bus into you and push you back in the water but it doesn't explode I'm gonna go get a jet ski and see what happens when uh, one of these guys are shot down pew 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 all right, catches on fire, and eventually explodes, tosses up in the air, and flunk, down to the bottom of the ocean it goes. Now in regards to the otter, this is really a sandpiper, except it's a water version of it. So it still has two seats, same fuel capacity, same top speed, and stuff like that. Except this, of course, can be taken off from the water. Check this guy out, this is so sweet. So once you get up to speed, you can successfully take off from the water and I think it's so much easier. This is definitely superior to the sandpiper because landing the sandpiper is really difficult because if you mess up, well your, your plane explodes. If you mess up on this, I suppose you sink, maybe, but I don't think it'd be all that disastrous for you uh, if you were to crash this thing when you're landing. Uh, but uh, I did want to show you guys that now I can control the airplane using my numpads. You can hear me. I'm pressing my numpad keys now, and I can fly this airplane using those numpad keys. So now, I can go into third person here, well, look in a straight line, and I can still control the airplane, whereas before, when you try and uh, turn the mouse, it would just look around. But now, you can successfully fly in third person 
by using those keybinds. And it also works in first person, of course, but overall, I think it's super nice. Now, I think we all know if I were to land this thing gently, it would just kind of land in the water and float, and then you could drive around. But I kind of want to see what happens if you land it really, really aggressively. Ah! Quite easily, actually. I think it's pretty much impossible to, uh, to crash this thing when you're landing in the water. Let's see what happens if you were to dive bomb. Yeah! <laughs> so, you really cannot uh, go wrong when it comes to uh, landing this thing. Also, one thing that I forgot to show you guys, your buildables and throwables uh, are being tracked. So whenever you throw a grenade or throw a smoke grenade or whatever, that statistic is being tracked, as well as whenever you place something down that is being tracked. In addition to that, we also have a fortified achievement for placing down 250 objects. Uh, I have 15 because I made this dock here. Oh, what's that you see over there? An APC? In the trees? Why is that? Oh, I wonder why I put the APC there. Well, maybe because instead of an APC, maybe it's because now it's an AAPC. The Amphibious Armored Personnel Carrier. Check this bad boy out. When you go to drive this APC into the water, it does not sink like a rock. It is now an amphibious vehicle. This is so sweet. It makes the APC so much more useful. I mean, before it kind of was like a really good vehicle in that it, hel it held a lot of people, kept them protected from gunfire and stuff like that. But really, other than that, there wasn't much of anything special about it. But now, using this APC, you can take you and your entire bandit squad into the back entrances of an enemy base that's built in the water, and you can get out and you can jump up on top of it maybe. Well, I, I don't know if you'd be able to do that. And then be able to get an RPG, shoot a hole in the back of the base. Anyway, so much room for opportunity when it comes to this amphibious APC. I was able to cross Puget Sound here without having to go over on, on that bridge and have to go around. Anyway, so awesome. Anyway, that is pretty much everything that was added in Unturned 3.14.2.0. Boats galore. Let me know you guys' thoughts on the new boats. It's so sweet. Any sort of addition of anything major like this, a vehicle or a new gun or whatever, is super exciting. There were a few minor tweaks and fixes that I didn't cover in this video, but if you guys would like to check that out, as always, I will put the full update post in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.